Hello and welcome to The Cook Along. Today we are going to be making some mini frittatas. I hope that you've got all of your ingredients and equipment ready. If you haven't, here's what you're going to need. Okay, so now that you've got everything ready, it's time to start cooking. You can see here that I've got the vegetables that I'm going to be putting in our frittata today. I've got some mushrooms, some red onion, some sun-dried tomatoes, and I've got some frozen peppers and some frozen sweet corn. Um, to prepare the uh, mushroom, what we're going to do is we're going to use that bridge technique for cutting it in half, and then we're going to use the claw technique for cutting into slices. Today I'm going to be using my little cutlet vineyard, and if you remember, because our knives are, are serrated, we need to make sure we're using that sawing action rather than that choppy choppy action. So, to make my bridge, hands a bridge, my pinky goes up, and I'm going to cleave our, cleave our, cleave our, saw, saw, saw in Welsh, and I've cut it in half, knife on the table, and you can see we've got those two bits um, just there. The next thing that I'm going to do is thumb the back, fingernails pointing straight down, and I'm going to cut these into little slices. So cleave our, cleave our, cleave our, and you can see there that I'm using my little claw, so my thumbs at the back, my fingernails pointing straight down, and just to remind ourselves, you can make that little noise again, just like that. So thumb at the back, fingernails pointing straight down, and I cleave our, 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 cleave our. I put my cutlet out above, and we're going to be a tidy chef, over like that, and we've got our mushroom prepared. I'm going to do exactly the same um, to this one, making my little claw. Just remember, when you're making that little claw, it's nice and safe, because even if I touch my nails, I'm not likely to cut myself. So that's all my cutting down, knife on the table, tidy chef, whoop, up like that, and then we have got our onion to prepare. Now you could equally use frozen onion if that's all you've got uh, available, but I'm going to show you how to prepare this onion because I see so many people that don't prepare onions because their eyes water. And the reason your eyes water when you prepare an onion is because you cut that root off. So the simple rule is don't cut that root off and hopefully your eyes won't water. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to show you how to do this properly. Natural fact, I'm just going to pop my mushroom um, just over there to make it a little bit easier. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously identify which is the, the rooty end. My wispy bits are there, so that's my uh, rooty end just like that. And I'm going to make my fingers a claw and just slice off the top of my onion um, just like that. And I can pop that into my waste bowl just over there. Now, the next thing is we need to remove the outside layer. And you've probably seen all the um, chefs on television and places like that removing the outside skin like that. I find that quite difficult because I le uh, keep my nails uh, quite uh, uh, short. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a hands of bridge and technically I'm going to cut through that root, but hopefully my eyes won't water because I haven't cut it all the way off. So cleave our, cleave our, cleave our. I cut it in half and we've got it there, and I'm going to put it flat down the surface, so hopefully I won't release any of those sulfates that, that are held in that root, and know that make our eyes water. The next bit is I can then, I'm going to do that just over there, I can remove the outside layer um, just like that, and leave uh, that bit off. You can see I've left that root on, so my eyes aren't going to water, and then all that we're going to do is I'm going to cut, just cut these into sort of semi-circle uh, sort of shapes today. So all I'm going to do is make sure that's the rooty end. I make my hand as a little claw, thumb at the back, fingernails pointing straight down, cleave our, cleave our, cleave our. We want these to be as thin as pos possible. Cleave our, 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 cleave our. And I can go all the way down um, to the root the end of my onion, cleave our, cleave our, cleave our. You can see I'm using that little sawing action, and you can see that's the only part of my onion that I'm going to discard, and my eyes haven't watered, and joke alert, my mascara hasn't run either. Um, so I'm going to pop that into there, and my uh, onion is ready and prepared for our uh, frittata. The last thing that we're going to prepare 
is I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, I prefer to, in my frittatas to put sun-dried tomatoes in because they've got that intense tomatoey flavour and they won't uh, make your frittata go a little bit soggy uh, like a uh, fresh tomato would be. Um, so I'm not going to add a huge amount um, and I'll be honest with you, they don't look like the most attractive uh, things um, but they have our jam-packed full of flavour um, and all that we're going to do with these is I'm, again I'm going to cut these into little slices leave off leave off leave off thin as you possibly can um, just like that um, usually these frittatas are stored in oil but what we're going to do is we're not going to add the oil to our um, frittata we're just going to chop those up just like that and then the last thing we're going to do is I'll move that over and we can pop all of our vegetables on to there just as so. You can see that I've got my little cloth so I can wipe away all of that oil just like that and I'll wipe that off my hands and I'll give my hands a wash in a couple of moments and that is stage number one. So in a couple of moments it's over to you to do the veg preparation of your vegetables. Here's a quick reminder and I'll see you in a couple of moments.